Good morning, kids. We are excited to be with you again in our online AKM class today. Today, we continue with our series called The Clash. The title of our third talk is Greed versus Generosity. My name is Teacher Grace from Feast PICC AM Session. We pray that you are all safe at home with your family and looking forward to hearing our new lesson today. Kindly follow us on Facebook so we can bring our AKM class into your homes. Let us call Teacher Stacy to lead the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of life, family, and friends. Thank you for the gift of community and this opportunity to know more about you. We ask you, Lord, to be with us in this session. Help us to apply the lessons we will be learning from our teachers today. Help us to be instruments in bringing everyone closer to you. We surrender to you everything, Lord. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us call Martin to pray the Novena to God's love. Everyone, let's all pray the Novena to God's love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I'm blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Martin. We are still studying the book of Matthew, but before we continue further, it is good to be reminded about how we should read the Bible to understand it better. When we read the Bible, we should encounter God. This time should be our date with our Father, Son, and Spirit. First is to contextualize what we read. Keep in mind that God used human authors to write the Bible. When we read the Bible, it is best to look into the author's personality, way of thinking, intelligence, and the time and culture when the passage was written. Also, please consider that the Bible verse and parable are connected to the entire book. We cannot read a parable as a stand-alone story. An example is the next parable told by Jesus about the wicked tenants. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he rented a vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to tenants to collect his share of the crop. The tenants seized his servants. They beat one, killed another, and stoned a third. Then he sent another servant to them. More than the first time, and the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, they sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do with those tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretch end, they replied. But he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his share of the crop at harvest time. Let us call Teacher Ray to discuss further. Number two, let us personalize the messages. You are God's vineyard. He pours His eternal love into your life. He gives you everything to make you flourish. Our physical body, our family, our talents, even all the trials we've been through, shaped us into who we are today. The wicked tenant can be compared to Israel that rejected God's prophets like Elijah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. You are the new tenant from God's vineyard. God loves you 
and he gave you the authority to take care of his vineyard, his people, the church. We are all called to look after and take care of the people around us, our family, friends, relatives, and classmates. Even during this difficult time, even virtually, we can send across our care and love for God's vineyard, the people that God sent to our lives. We are blessed to have Jesus, the Son of God, who gave himself to us. As written in the book of Psalms, chapter 100, verse 3, Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Whatever challenges, hardships, or problems that you are experiencing now, always connect to Jesus and declare that, I belong to God. This is God's big message for you today. Let us call Teacher Grace to guide us in our activity. Good morning kids! For our activity, we will be making a craft that is all about acknowledging God. This is entitled, I Belong to God. We will need the following materials, two or more sheets of colored paper, pen or pencil or pencil pen, scissors, ruler, paste or glue, colored pens or crayons, old magazines or newspaper. First, get an old magazine or newspaper and cut out the letters to form the sentence, I belong to God. Second, get one piece of band paper or colored paper, paste the sentence, I belong to God on top of the paper. Third, get another sheet of paper and fold it crosswise, then draw half of a girl or boy figure. Fourth, carefully cut along the half person outline. You can also draw a boy or a girl figure, it depends on you. This boy or girl represents you. Fifth, God gives us everything we need to flourish. Write three or more blessings talents or good characteristics that you have and write it on a girl or boy figure. Be creative, make your own design. Sixth step, after which, paste the girl or boy cut out below the sentence, I belong to God. Seventh step, let's be generous and start living for others. Think of three or more ways on how you can share your talent or ways on how you can help other people. Eighth step, write it on the left or right side of your figure. Lastly, write the key verse. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. This is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 100, verse 3, at the bottom part of your paper. We hope you had fun. Don't forget to take a photo of you holding your work and post it in the comment section of our Facebook page. We would love to see you and what you did. Stay safe and see you again on Sunday. Let us call Teacher Stacy for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we are so grateful for the gift which we have received today, the gift of your word. May it take root in our hearts, flourish, and produce fruit. Holy Spirit, guide us, lead us to live out your word to be an instrument of your love and blessing as we return to our daily lives. And as we receive you today, Jesus, may we bring you to the people who need you most. Your will be done, O God. And all these we humbly ask through the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.